Hi gang, welcome to Watercraft Talk. Today's video, I want to, I'm doing kind of again for myself. Uh, I, I want to use this as a reference to, to uh, link to you guys to, to show and, and discuss about piston wash. Um, a lot of discussion always are people asking about piston wash and I'm continually saying to go out and look and there's a lot of good information on the internet but I just thought you know what I have a couple of pistons here and let's show you a little bit and talk a little bit about piston wash. <clears throat> it is a misconception that um, a dark piston like this one you can see that's relatively a lot of, lot of carbon on this people think that's rich and in a two-stroke world that is not. Um, the more carbon you have on here, it's lean. As a ski is richer, your fuel air mixture coming through the ports, through your transfer ports and your boost port, actually will wash the, the carbon off of the piston. Now, and, and I'm not saying that this one's lean. This one's actually, it's a little lean. You want the wash. I, I use the, my fingernail as a rule. You want wash to be about the size of your fingernail to be safe. Unless you're pushing for a world title and you're really fine-tuning for your typical recreational application. Um, wash about the size of your fingernail is safe and, <clears throat> and what you want. This one, for instance, is very rich. Or it had a head gasket leak or a water leak of some sort. I'm going to say it's fuel because it's not completely clean and, and we do have some carbon. Um, these have been sitting on my desk forever and I use them as paperweights, so forgive me, I don't remember where they came from. I've, they've probably been here for 20 years on my desk. Uh, but it, it's, it's something that I, you know, I, can, I can show you. Um, so this, very, very rich. This, leaner than this. So it's important to, uh, to, to get a light or, or a scope and get down and, and look at your piston. This is overall jetting. Um, it's hard to do a plug chop on a, on a watercraft because you really can't hold it wide open. You can, but it's hard. Hold it wide open, kill the throttle, and swim the thing in and pull the plug. Um, and with the additives in today's gas and everything too, I don't always believe plug chops and plug readings. Um, if you know what you're doing, uh, you can read a plug. A lot of people don't, and, and this is a little more accurate. This is, this is overall jetting, uh, and, and will give you an idea over time how happy your engine is and how much fuel you have. So I hope you find that informative. Keep the ideas coming. We sure appreciate it when you reach out to us. Please hit the subscribe button. Like, tag, share, and follow us. It's really helping our channel grow, and we can't do that without you. Be nice to each other when you're out and about, and next time, we'll see you out on the water.